using a voice or sound recorder in your classes. Hi and welcome to the Shaping the Digital Class tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to use any voice recorder application to save your training or classes for your students. We are looking at Area 3 of the Digicom Edu Framework, Teaching and Learning. Topic 2. Guidance. To use digital technologies and services to enhance the interaction. Sometimes you have to save your trainings for your students or you have to provide them with feedback after they've done a task. In this tutorial we're going to look at another one of our projects, the Digi Cookbook Recipe which offers pre-made lesson plans, step-to-step -step recipes you can use in your lesson planning. Let's look at this recipe using the voice recorder to save your training for the students. Learning and teaching situation Teachers may want to prepare tutorials and other learning resources. Target group, any kind of teacher or trainer with basic or beginner or with basic level of digital competence. The ingredients are a computer, access to the internet and a voice recorder application. Windows 10 and 8 offer one voice recorder application, but other Windows versions do not offer it. There are a lot of online recorders available on the Internet. We have found an online version of the recorder that works exactly the same way as the Windows one. This is the online voice recorder. This app is online and you do not have to download it, which makes it available to everyone regardless of which version of Windows you have. Let's look at the way it works. Voice recorder. In any voice recorder, to record your voice, you have to click on the microphone icon and start recording your voice. Your voice gets recorded. When you want to stop the recording, you press the stop button. The recorder processes it and it plays it back. Your voice gets recorded. If you want to save it, you save it, save the file, and the file is available here in downloads. Okay? Imagine you want to send it to a student. I'm going to send it to myself. Recording. And I'm going to attach the audio file to the email. The audio file will be in downloads in my computer. In your computer, it may be in a different file. And you send it. That way, you can send your students your recorded 
training or classes, or you can send them a useful feedback after they've done a task for you. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that we have helped you to make your classes more digital. We will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.